44 degrees and it's nice and rainy outside. But no one cares about that. It's not about the rain. It's what the rain represents. Life is always giving you a test. Trying to give you a way out. Trying to give you an excuse not to show up. People have this reoccurring nightmare that there's some thing, some force that's got a hold of them and it's holding them down and they can't break free. No matter what they do, they can't break free from that force. Well, I'm here to tell you that that thing in your nightmare, that thing that's holding you back, that thing that's dragging you down, that thing is you. Go out there and start fucking walking. Put some shoes on, start running. Go to the gym, do the elliptical trainer. It's not rocket science. A lot of folks talk about overtraining. You gotta train first before you can overtrain. Sometimes you wake up in the morning time and you're sore and you feel like you're overtrained. No, you got sore fucking legs. Get out of your own head and stop overthinking it. Stay hard. I don't care how small it is. I don't care how minuscule. The movement is, but make movement. Move forward and do that every single day, no matter what, including today. You aren't getting any closer to your five-year plan or your three-year plan or your seven-year plan or any plan that you've got unless you get up and start getting after it today. This is my excuse today, but guess what? You gotta have the mentality to show up every fucking day of your life. No matter what life throws at you. It's our responsibility to show up to the Coliseum of life. Prepare for fucking battle. I don't care what you're going through, what life's throwing at you. It's your responsibility to find your new 100%. Take it upon yourself to do that. Stay hard. Those days that you don't want to do anything, tired, too sore, you just don't feel like it, those days, those are the days that count. When you have those feelings, it's even more important to step up and get some. If you've got something to do, don't put it off till tomorrow. Don't do that. Don't voluntarily do anything tomorrow that you should be getting done today. Get it done today. Don't wait. Attack it, destroy it, and move on. We all have two people. We all have two people. And I'm not saying you're crazy. We have the easy voice, which is that 20% telling yourself that you're, I'm easy at 90% of my full potential, maybe 100% at that 20%. That's that voice that we all love. This other voice that we walk very far away from is the voice saying, hey man, you ain't doing shit. So we try to get this voice out of our head completely. And we live over here in this land. So what you have to do first is turn up this voice over here. The voice saying things to you that aren't nice. That it's in our head saying, you know what man, dude, you're not doing shit. And it's not putting yourself down. People take this the wrong way in this new society. I'm not saying to put yourself down. I'm saying listen to the truth. And the truth isn't in the 20%. The truth is in this other part of your brain saying, look man, you're wasting a bunch of percentage here. We have 80 more percent that we're not tapping into because in this other 80% is suffering, pain, failure, self-doubt, darkness and then a whole bunch of light so easy so easy to put things off so easy to say you can do it tomorrow well i want you to reprogram your brain and tell yourself that tomorrow is not a viable option tomorrow doesn't work you do it today you get it done today that's what you do go get some the mind is a medieval motherfucker it's constantly fighting against you. It's the only thing in the history of the fucking world that shows up on time every time. It has a tactical advantage over you. It knows your fears. It knows your insecurities. 
He knows everything about you. He might be the only thing in that world that knows all about you. You got to know about it. It's going to show up when you don't want to show up. It's going to show up at the worst time possible when you want to be successful. It's going to say, take the easy road. Take the easy way out. But to get to this light, you got to go through all of this shit. So a lot of us know that. So everybody goes, how do you do that? You know exactly how to do that. It's all back down to a very primitive mindset of we just have to do. It's like breathing. Breathing becomes normal. Like we don't know that, that, that we're doing it. That's how you have to live your life. When that alarm clock goes off at four or five in the morning, your mind says no. You just say, this is what we do. It's what we do now. That's your new norm. Because they're gonna talk to you and they're gonna lie to you. They're gonna tell you that it's gonna get colder. They're gonna tell you that the evolution isn't gonna end. They're gonna tell you that you're too weak. They're gonna tell you this isn't worth it. They're gonna tell you that you're too big, you're too small, you're too short, you're too tall. They're gonna tell you things to try and get you to quit. And they're lying to you. You hear all kinds of negative stuff out there. You're gonna hear it from other people, you're gonna hear it in your own head. Don't listen to it. They're lying. Don't let that happen. You're in charge. There's so many times in life you don't want to be doing what the fuck you're doing. You can't just fucking quit. Remember this, it's in the hobby, it's in the fucking joke, it's a fucking lifestyle. So what you say to yourself is important. There's no fucking coach, there's no trainer to keep you going, it's only you. Stay uncommon amongst uncommon people. You're never done. Don't stop when you're tired. Stop when you're done. Stay hard. Every day, do something that moves you toward that goal, that keeps that goal alive and in sight and in focus. However small or insignificant that step might seem, take it, do it, make it happen, because that goal isn't going to achieve itself. You think things are gonna just go your way? Well, they're not gonna just go your way. You gotta make them go your way. You think things are gonna just happen for you? Well, they're not just gonna happen for you. You gotta make them happen. It's Monday, go make things happen. You know what I hear? I hear the clock ticking. That's what I hear, and the end is nigh, and time waits for no man. And you young guns out there, 18 years old, 20 years old, 24 years old, listen, life goes by, and it goes by quick. Don't waste those years. Don't waste them. Live them. The earlier you get in the game and get on track, the better life you're going to have. Healthier, wealthier, stronger, smarter, better. And if you're an old man like me and you haven't gotten on track yet, get on track. Get on it now. Every, everyone listening to this no complacency no complacency no backing off no slack whatsoever fight fight that ticking clock with everything you got we all have time we all have time what you don't have is you haven't prioritized your life correctly what you've done wrong is that you you didn't prioritize yourself. You didn't prioritize that, look, motherfucker, I got to get up and win this war today against myself. I need to look better. I need to feel better. I need to eat better. Unreal how much time you waste during the day. And most of it is on these fucking computers, phones, you know, Instagramming back and forth, whatever the fuck you call it shit nowadays, tweeting and texting and shit. We waste so much time on our little gadgets 
It's unreal. And we talk about we have no time. If you really take, you have to take your day and write, write down this one day. Everything you do, write that down. And you're like, my God, I am wasting so much time on frivolous bullshit, it's not even funny. I mean, it will, it will, if that infuriate you, it should. Because there's so much time, I can't get it in. Look at your schedule, you just wasted seven hours today on bullshit. I mean, and you don't have an hour a day to try to get something in for yourself. What are you gonna do to get better today? Today, not tomorrow, not next week, not next year, when you think you're gonna have plenty of time to do what you want, get your priorities straight. That's not gonna happen. And it's definitely not gonna happen if you don't start putting in the work today. Nobody's gonna lift the weights for you. Nobody's gonna do the pull-ups for you. Nobody's gonna go out put in the road work for you. You gotta do all that yourself. Quit waiting for the perfect time. Quit waiting for the perfect situation to occur. It's not gonna happen. You wanna know when the time is right? The time is right now. So what are you doing with your time? Are you doing something productive? Are you moving towards a goal? Making yourself better? Or are you letting time slip by? Wasting. Stop wasting time. Get after it. What the hell are we all waiting for to start attacking life? We're waiting for the fucking stars to align? Back when I was growing up, the song came out. All I need is a miracle. Well, guess what? That miracle ain't coming. There is no perfect time to start. You gotta start now with changing your life. We're all being tested in life. And guess what? This is one test you can't cheat on. We all have our own test. Some of us are obese. Some of us are depressed. Some of us are insecure. In the military, we have a big old rucksack on the back. Have batteries, water, extra gear. Your extra gear is the shit you're dealing with in life. And the only way to overcome it is for you and you alone to face it. You have to do your best work when you're the least motivated. So those days you don't want to do it, guess what you got to do? You got to suck it the fuck up and do it. Stay hard. What would you tell your 20-year-old self? In other words, if you could go back in time and you could talk to your 20-year-old self, what advice would you give to that 20-year-old Jocko? And you know, honestly, I think to myself, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I can't go back in time. I can't change what I did when I was 20 years old. What I'm actually thinking to myself is, what do you tell yourself today to get you on the path? Someone asked me one time, what's your biggest fear? My biggest fear was fucking dying that 300 pound man. Never knowing I could be who I am today. A lot of us are wasteful, but we're wasteful who we are in life. It's important to train that motherfucker and get all you can out of yourself. Stay hard. It's too hard. Life isn't fair. These things in life are, are, are not easy for me. You, you, you look to your left and you look to your right and you start to judge yourself off other people. Like, if you're a female, well, she's skinny and she doesn't work out as hard as I do. And everything starts to corrupt your mind. You start to look around too much at other people and what they're doing. And that starts to corrupt your own dialogue. We are judging ourselves against too many people. You have to judge yourself against yourself. And that's the one thing I started learning, man. This isn't a race against me and other people. This is a race against David Goggins and David Goggins alone. And once you can silence all that bullshit, all the outside interference and things that are attracting your mind to everything, you can then start to grow and realizing I'm stressed out for no reason. This is my own little race. This is my own timeline. And this is how I'm going to run it. The conversation has to become an honest conversation of where you're at mentally. Where am I at mentally? I look like shit. I feel like shit. I'm not this. I'm, I'm falling behind in school. I'm lazy. My house is a mess. 
You have to look at what it is and call it what it is. Don't find words to make yourself feel better. Because we hang around people that make us feel better, that tell us what we want to hear, not what we need to hear. And so we stay away from those people. And we stay away from those people, like our internal dialogue becomes that kind, it's okay, it's not okay. So that's where it starts. It starts with that accountability of, it's not okay anymore. This can no longer be okay. And calling yourself out for exactly what you are and exactly how you can fix it. We have an epidemic in this world. The epidemic I'm talking about is a lot of people bitch about fucking everything. They bitch about not having time. They, they, they bitch about their boss. They bitch about their husband. They bitch about their lives. They bitch about everything. Some people even follow me on Instagram and bitch about me fucking cussing. So why the fuck are you following me on Instagram if you know I'm gonna fucking cuss? We bitch about everything in life, but we do nothing about it. Very few people do anything about it. I'm fat, I'm out of shape. All these fucking things. What the fuck are you doing about it? You gotta take action in your life. You gotta stop bitching. Find a solution to your fucking problem. Don't be the problem. Take action. For every action, there's an opposite reaction. If all you do is bitch, nothing's gonna happen in your life. Take action, take control, stay hard. Life's about improvise, adapt, and overcome to every situation that's in front of you. A lot of people hate that message that I say continue pushing, continue finding your new 100%, continue finding your best self, not making excuses, overcoming any and all obstacles. Where do you start? You start right here. When do you start? You start right now. You initiate action. You go. Between the moment when you are waiting to do something that you don't want to do, and the first motion, and the moment when you initiate the action, all the interim, the whole time you are waiting to take that action, is like a phantasm or a hideous dream, is like an evil specter, an apparition, a nightmare. So the battle, the struggle, the hesitation takes place in that moment. That moment when we must step into the unknown. That moment filled with fear and horror. And that fear is what causes hesitation, and hesitation causes defeat. You have to do it. And you have to do it now. I wasn't born this motherfucker. I made him. At the bottom of insecurities, fear, self-doubt, lies, was me buried in the fucking fetal position. How I got out of that was recognizing it, being honest with it, being truthful with it, and then fixing it. Get to the source and fix the problem. Likely the only impediment to your getting after some physical activity is you. So get yourself in the game. Shut down all those pathetic excuses and get after it. We can't work out without purpose. We need to get into our dress for the wedding. Summertime's coming so we want to look all good. Our high school reunion's coming up so we gotta lose weight. The biggest purpose in life isn't all that shit. It's how you respect yourself. How you look at yourself, that's an everyday fucking journey. So every day you should be getting after it. We look at determination, self-discipline. We look at hard work. All these terms, it's almost like we dread them. It was like a fucking punishment. Those are the biggest words of all time as far as respecting yourself. So don't look at them as dread and punishment. Look at those words as a lifestyle. Stay hard. You need one day off? Okay, fine. But don't take it today. Put that day off in the bank for when you really need it. When the car breaks down or when the water heater floods the basement or when the kids are sick or the dog runs away or you have to pull a triple shift at work. But today, no. Fit it in. Make it happen. Through force of will, make it happen. Don't be weak. We're all being tested in life. In life, it's not about 
failing. Failing is inevitable. It's about keeping the fucking motivation. Keep moving forward the same exact path that you just failed. It's easier to accept the fact that I'm just not good enough. I wasn't made to do that. But I'll tell you right now, man, we can do a lot when it comes to this pure arm guts and willpower. We have a lot more with a lot more than what we think we have. But you have to go into the dark chambers that we often shut off and you gotta open them up. You gotta open up and fight that fucking demon, get in there, talk to that motherfucker and say, what's up? It's a difficult motherfucker where you're going to fail and you're going to be in your head. You're going to be saying, I'm not good enough. And it's how you get through that. It's how you get through that on a daily basis. That you can be this fucked up dude, like really fucked up dude. And with the right mindset, going through this path of life, this journey over here that you make yourself, that's incredibly difficult. What comes out the other end of that motherfucker is some glorious shit that you can't even explain to people. Are you living that motherfucker? Are you getting up every fucking morning? I'm about working out, whatever. Are you really getting the fuck after? Everybody wants to be better. Everyone talks about becoming better, but I'll tell you right now, it doesn't just happen. You want to improve? You want to get on a workout program or a clean diet or start a new business? You want to write a book or make a movie or build a house or a computer or an app? Where do you start? You start right here. When do you start? You start right now. You initiate action. You go. That idea isn't going to execute itself. That book isn't going to write itself. Those weights out in the gym, they aren't going to move themselves. You have to do it, and you have to do it now. So stop thinking about it. Stop dreaming about it. Stop researching every aspect of it and debating the pros and cons of it. Start doing it. Take that first step and make it happen. Here and now. The motivation is crap. It's shit. People right now, shit, they be motivated to go run. If it's cold somewhere where they're at, a lot of my friends will shut that door, go back inside. That's motivation. It comes and go as how you feel. Self-discipline is everything. And if you don't have it, I, I don't look at you right, because I know you're capable of more. It's all on you. It's all on you. The self part is what's big. We need someone to hold, hold people accountable. Fuck that shit, man. Fuck that shit. We, we count on people too much to get us through shit. You know who's gonna bail you out? You know who's gonna come and rescue you? You know who's gonna come and save the day? No one. Nobody's gonna lift the weights for you. Nobody's gonna do the pull-ups for you. Nobody's gonna go out and put in the road work for you. You gotta do all that yourself. Don't give in to the immediate gratification that is whispering in your ear. Shut that down. Do not listen. The desire to take the path of least resistance, the downhill path, the downward path. You stayed on the righteous path, the disciplined path. You stayed on the war path. I don't give a fuck. I'm a warrior. Period. A warrior is a motherfucker who says, hey, I'm here again today. I'm here again tomorrow. I'm gonna be here the next day. I'm 50 years old, I'm still fucking getting after it. It's a person that puts no fucking limit on what's possible. If you wanna be uncommon amongst uncommon people. It's all on you. It's all on you. The self part is what's big. I'm gonna make myself good enough. I'm driven. I'm obsessed. I want to prove people wrong. 
I'm a warrior. A warrior is a motherfucker who says, hey, I'm here again today. I'm here again tomorrow. I'm gonna be here the next day. It's a person that puts no fucking limit on what's possible. It's a brutal journey every fucking day. Thicken your skin, become more of a human being. Don't be afraid of the reflection in the mirror because that's all you can be afraid of. Once you overcome the reflection in the mirror, you've done it. People want to know how to stop the laziness and they want to know how to stop the procrastination. And, you know, they have some idea in their head, you know, some kind of uh, a vision, what they want to do, but they don't know where to start. I have a very simple answer for that. Here and now. That's it. You, you want to improve? You want to get better? You initiate the action aggressively. You go. You're going to have to fucking suffer, man. It, it's how you get somewhere in life. Motivation is crap. It's shit. It comes and goes as how you feel. Fuck that shit, man. Fuck that shit. Most of this generation quits the second they get talked to. You did this wrong, you did this wrong, or, or they get yelled at. It's so easy to, you know, to, to be great nowadays, because everybody else is, most people are, are weak. This, this is a softened generation. So if you have any mental toughness, any, any ability, if you have any fraction of self-discipline, the ability to not want to do it, but still do it. Step aggressively towards your fear. And that, that step towards your fear is the step into bravery. Because we, we, we're scared of what we don't know. And there's only one way to learn and to know, and that is to confront that fear. I'm not gifted, I'm just driven. So that's when you move from motivation to driven to obsessed. It's how you get through that on a daily basis. We forget how badass we are during that hard time. It's a difficult motherfucker where you're gonna fail and you're gonna be in your head. You could be saying, I'm not good enough. And it's how you get through that. You have to do it and you have to do it now. And that means you gotta stop thinking about it and stop dreaming about it and stop researching every aspect of it and reading all about it and debating the pros and cons of it. Just start doing it. Take that first step and make it happen. Get after it. And get after it here and Get the fuck after, get after, get after. You ain't good enough, motherfucker. Get after, get after. To grow, you must suffer. Some people will get it, some people won't. When you're driven, whatever's in front of you will get destroyed. Get your ass kicked. Do things you hate to do. Be uncomfortable every fucking day of your life. You have to believe in one thing, and that is yourself. Self discipline is everything. And that's all it's about, yourself. This fucking me against me, period. The fucking mind is what you created. I'm training my mind and my body and my spirit so it's all one, so I can handle what life is gonna throw at me. Don't make any more excuses or justifications. Don't rationalize anything else. No, no, and no. Instead, be aggressive. Take action now. It wasn't until I changed that mentality that I became somebody. But if you can get through to doing things that you hate to do, on the other side is greatness.